duckies, Andy here. Sorry, I have not put a video out for a little while. I've been really busy behind the scenes and I'll be doing an update video very soon. There's a lot of cool stuff coming out. But I just had to do a video because this has to be the craziest thing I have ever seen inside of OBS. It's an OBS plugin and th this is the first of its kind. Uh, potentially the last of its kind. I just I have zero words. I have zero words. This plugin is by the creator Universal, who has made loads of different OBS plugins that you guys probably already use, like Input Overlay, Muted Notification Tuner, Derbly. I've done videos on pretty much all these. DVD Screensaver, obviously. This person's got great banter. All right, check this out. We're in OBS just here. Yeah, this this is obviously amazing what you see in OBS. I'm going to add a new source. I don't think I need to say anything. This th this is doom. This is doom. This is Doom, running, in OBS. This is Doom, running, in OBS. <laughs> this has to be the craziest thing. I have ever seen in OBS at all. It is absolutely nuts. It's just Doom. New game. Let's start a new game. The buttons are the traditional buttons. You know how it is. Uh, and actually, fun fact for you. I've played Doom once. There's a fun fact. So we are physically running this in OBS. Pew, 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 pew. Which I just find absolutely wild. Obviously, it runs amazing. Um, there's barely any input lag or anything like that. Yeah, it's added a couple of milliseconds on, but it's running at 60 frames a second, rolling. And obviously, you could just stream Doom without actually opening the game of Doom. It's honestly just nuts. I can't believe it works the way that it does. Uh, you can obviously hide. You just use it like a normal source as well, so you can make it interactable and everything like that. It's just nuts. It's crazy what people are doing with OBS right now. If you want to get your hands on it, it is only available on uh, Universal's GitHub, so you will have to just bear with... Um, I don't know if it will just obviously license and things like that. I don't even know how it all works, um, but it might not actually go onto the OBS forums, but you can grab it just here. <laughs> absolutely wild you just jump on over to releases and you can grab it for Linux or Windows just da download them just there and you can uh, just well it's an installer so it's easy to install for Windows and if you're on Linux you probably know how to do that already just download install use it it's hilarious you can do all the usual stuff like I say you can put filters on it because it's just like a normal source basically so you could add some shader filters to it go really crazy uh, let's go and make it all I don't know drunk or something where's the drunk shader yeah drunk that's how I feel just knowing things like this are starting to exist is just nuts whoa here we go glow percent glow it up min brightness and then we'll ease and then we'll glitch so you get some really cool stuff, do some really basic stuff, do some advanced stuff. Yeah, I thought I just had to do a video on that because it's just mind-blowing what is going on with OBS right now. I've got a ton of videos coming very soon, so make sure you are subscribed because I'm usually the first person that gets hands-on with plugins and stuff and obviously uh, showcase it to everybody. So make sure you are subscribed. I want to do a massive thanks to Exceldro for bringing this to my attention. And I bet you couldn't believe that I've just thrown this video together this quick, all right? I'll see you in the next video. Put your rock over the stone and come and visit me at twitch.tv forward slash Lippy and we'll play some Doom on stream in OBS. What?